Really? As if that's a prize. The guy has been in prison for 12 years. Quaylen and Chevelle, we are in for a treat. This one is crazy and I want to know what you guys think about whether you think this thing is scripted or fake or whatever because as you know, if you've watched it, what we're about to see is it, 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 it's crazy. My hopes and all my dreams are shattering in slow motion. What? Nah, if it's in slow motion, my friend, please speed it up because this is something that you this is something that she has a handle on. She can see how serious this guy is, yes or no. She can end it, yes or no. She can continue, yes or no. But if things are going in slow motion and pulling you back in slow motion, just you take a step back, a big step back, and then it's done. And, and there's there's nothing you're gonna put Maela through anymore, your mom through, yourself through, none of that. You just call it quits. We since quite the left and went to go see his family in Texas. And his communication has been off, not answering the phone. He's been Yeah, meanwhile in Texas. Oh man, mama got me out here doing chores and my English yards for father. When Quayla came in the picture, like boom, that's my daddy. Nah. That's you that did that. How does she not know who her actual dad is? Even if he's not in the picture, like, who is this guy? Does she know even who this guy is? Have you have you spoken about this guy? That he's, like, not around? That any random guy walking around is not just going to be her daddy for no reason? Like, that, that is not how that works. So I think it's also quite sad because kids will think what they think, right? They'll think anything. Well, the whole world is rosy in their eyes, right? Just like how they were in the car arguing and she was like, are we how? yet or are we there yet and everybody was like hmm. just kind of doing their own thing kids are in their own mind like okay at some age and stuff they'll get what's going on but i think maybe she's too young for all that she's four or five or something like that in any case um that's not your daddy mm -hmm. okay um he's just somebody that i really like that's how the, the conversation has to be and like also not giving her that assurance that he's going to be around forever and ever and ever because you just don't know he's been <laughs> This one even shocks me actually, right? Because this guy has been in prison for 12 good years. I keep telling you guys that if you think about 12 years ago, where you were, if you can't even remember that, think about the phones that were around 12 years ago, the technology that was around 12 years ago, that's how you know how long that is. This guy has not experienced anything, anything. So yeah, um, you can't expect him to just be here and then be a dad all of a sudden, out of a sudden, out of the blue, out of the blue. No. So I just don't know what I'm gonna tell her. Yeah. Like, I'm just talking I was chilling. So she was blowing up the phone, as she could expect. She tripping with you? Don't see it when we are. My best friend, Alyssa. This is where things start to get fake. This best friend, Alyssa, comes in, walking in, doof, doof. So these sisters are trying to hook uh, Quaylen off up with one of their best friends or one of the sisters best friend Which I don't understand because why would you want that? Why would you want that? But it's it's probably because the brother still feels kind of foreign, right? Doesn't feel like a brother that you were in the house with growing up with um, Going to the loo and being like, hey, my goodness, you done did it again or just normal stuff that you go through as siblings they never had any of that because for 12 years this guy was gone so i feel like they're they're doing no but so do people do this do people actually do this it's my best friend oh go date the brother or my brother in that case what I, hmm, it's it's a weird scenario and it gets weirder Are they not? Is she not gonna immediately acknowledge that this guy is sitting there? Immediately like, oh, hi, hi, anyway, who are you? Do, 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 do. Or not even like, who are you? Because they should have told her who he is, right? For 12 years, they have a brother who's been incarcerated and they don't mention him. They don't mention talking to him or how they're feeling about it. And now he's out and they're still, hmm, okay. Yeah. 
random random <laughs> random oh yes i have a lot to say about this one <laughs> i'm gonna point out some things to you guys that you probably never saw weird weird you come there's no shaking of hands there's no nothing everybody good you you good are you okay huh how how no that's not how a normal person would do that see i think that they probably retook this take it's just too artificial what you drinking on the same thing it's the same all right i got you how do you got her how do you got her you got money how did he even get his plane ticket to get out there? I'm confused. I have so many questions because his mom was trying to get him a job. What? Where is his money? Ooh, I hope it's not Chevelle's money. Ooh, where's that truck? Hold on. Has it? Hmm. Has anybody located the truck? Five thousand dollars. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Give me a gym. What? 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 If somebody, please tell me what this sister, the sister on the left, tell me what she said. On your right. Whatever. I was gonna say this. Okay. Tell me what that sister is saying. Listen. What's that? No. He's cute. I I, I think that she says something like I F's with the hair. Who does that? It just doesn't look natural, you guys. I mean, take take a deeper look. Take a deeper look. Really? I see if that surprise. The guy has been in prison for 12 years, my friend. For 12 years. And as much as they think Chevelle's got baggage, he's got baggage too, which is emotional baggage. And nobody's gonna fault him for that because that's very normal but he's, he's got things that are coming with him as well and he's not perfect either so her pretending like does she know that he's been in prison actually yeah i hope she's not gonna ride this wave like the tattoo on her uh shoulder because uh yeah mm, you know <laughs> What's he into? So you guys never had this conversation at all. My brother is about to be released and uh, anyway, I guess you couldn't because they were trying to check Chevelle out and see what he what she's like. But then now they want him to keep his options open. You don't know how old he is. So you guys just never talked about this guy. This random brother in prison. Y'all never talked about him? How old he is, when he's getting out, what he's into, or like what he does, or what he loves to do, or what he would like to do when he's out. Or you guys are not gonna have this conversation here at the bar. It's all this superficial stuff. Mm -hmm. I like you. I like your hair. I like oh, I like you. I... you. Sound a little bit like those African uncles <laughs> at parties. I like your skin. I like your hair. I like your eyes. I like. You don't know how to have a conversation? Okay. Okay. No, this one. Hmm. Chevelle definitely has too much baggage for my brother to be around. She has the looks, she has the body. She... No. See. Ah. Who? Hmm. Again. Weird. Can you imagine trying to hook up your bro with one of your other sister's best friends and then being like yeah she's got the look she's got the body what is your brother doing with body uh, uh, please what is your brother doing with body wouldn't you want her to have the intellect to have a business to have connections so that he can get a g j <laughs> ob okay hmm peculiar See, that's what makes me think there's something in the mix, which I will not put my finger on yet, even though I have my suspicions. But there's something in the mix that is interesting. You can think for yourself. It is odd. It is odd. It is odd the way she's describing this friend. That's not how you would describe a friend that you want your bro to get with. I think it's odd. She has the means. She's everything that I would want in a woman. 
This girl stay mean mugging. I don't know. <laughs> hey! Skirt, skirt. Why are you touching this guy's hair? This don't touch my don't touch my hair. This thing goes for everybody. Don't touch my hair. Don't touch a woman's hair. Don't touch a guy's hair. It's a code. You don't do that. What if he just started messing around in your curls? Leave the dress alone, okay? Leave the locks alone. Some people don't like them to be called dreads. But I think they call them dreads. Locks. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Ah, no mean muggy here. Now, I loved this picture. I'm sure it's going to be a beautiful picture because these are some beautiful women and ah, don't people just look so much better when they smile? As Kirk Franklin said, but it's true. You look so much better when you smile. Anywho. Anywho. Into you. My thing's frozen. Yes! Supporting you. Yes, the party was whack. Okay, it was really whack. There's nothing going on there. You mean to tell me this guy's been out for 12 years? This what you guys are doing now? You could have even done that in somebody's crib. Get comfortable. Get to peeing. Pee everything out. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> Touch up your makeup and then hit hit the boot boot boot. Yeah, 12 years. Imagine somebody's been in prison 12 years and they're like, here, entertain them. What would you do? Would you go and sit in a drab bum bar like this one? No. Again, I always think this stuff is scripted. It's just too weird. Unless there's nothing to do in Texas, which I know is not true. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? What did he say? He said, I look better though. Because the sister was like, y'all look good. And it was like, I look better though. Eh, that's not flattering. You need to say something about this chick. Up until now, she's been like, oh, I like your hair. Oh, this and that. I'm into this and that. Like compliments, compliments, compliments. And he said nothing good about this girl. And then y'all look good. I look better though. Wow. He just slipped that in there. I caught that. I caught that. Did you catch that? Hmm. Anyway. And he's covering her face. Hey, I'm with this pretty girl. Let me just cover her face with a sideways a 90 degree peace sign. For what reason? Hey. That's too soon. How is he gonna know whether he's staying there or not? It's too soon. It really just is too soon. So also you guys, there's one thing I've noticed now it seems like his hair is not done. So in some of the clips, his hair is done as in twisted, twisted, retwisted from the roots. So it looks very much like everything is in its section. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Really nice, it's neat, right? And then they do the whole, like a braid, chunky braid on top. Then at some point, he's got like blonde in there somehow. And there's also some point where it's not done at all. And all these things, all these different hairstyles are in different times and sometimes it, it chronologically this thing does not make any sense i think they just follow these people for a while and just put everything together just anyhow it doesn't make sense i keep looking at this guy's hair and i was like two seconds ago your hair was different and i'm not talking about the confessionals because now in the confessionals he's got the blonde things but no no they they are filming this and ah, just just check it from now on and you'll know what i mean I'm with my sisters, man. I was with the third degree. See, no highlights here. Or are there highlights? Whatever. I'm chilling when I said I was doing that, so I'm going to talk to you. Chilling, doing money. Mr. Craig, what's up? Choking, tall. You see, the highlights are back here. But see, here's the thing. If you have nothing to hide, just be free. You don't owe Chevelle anything. Or Maela, to be very, very honest. It's sad for the kid. But the kid needs to be, be protected by her mother. This random, random man from prison <laughs> is not gonna protect your kid. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Because this is on you. 
You birthed that girl. That is your child. You have a different type of love for her than this guy will ever have, especially because he's not committed. He can. There's a lot of stepmoms and stepdads that are doing amazing jobs, but they're committed. And this guy is not. And she needs to get that. I'm starting to feel a little smothered, like I'm in a different kind of prison. No, you don't have to because I just need a sister post attention. Like, I don't have to be something. And I'm chilling. Look how you acting. That's why I ain't silly. Like, Debo, me mug him Debo. Oh, you don't want her up in this thing. Another cute shot of these sisters. They look gorgeous when they're not me mugging. But yeah, Chevelle better. Mm, you better watch out. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. These sisters are not playing. I don't think they're Back off. Hold up. Why are you? Why are you getting in the mix? That is rude as heck. You did not even know this guy. All she knew is about Chevelle because at the beginning they did say we're not fooling with Chevelle in Kansas City. So she knows about a Chevelle. And nah, this one is long, you guys, but whatever. I'm rambling. Listen, <laughs> you know that he's with somebody in a committed relationship. Here you come, I like your hair, and all that stuff. So you're trying to flirt. Trying. And, um,. Yeah, you don't know much about this guy. You don't even know his age. You don't know what he's into. You don't know anything. You don't know about what he went to prison for, how he was in prison, how he's doing mentally, how he's doing financially, how he's doing emotionally, you know, where he's even going to stay. So you're just stirring the pot for no reason because he might just take his bum back to Kansas City and leave you high and dry. And then now they're having a conversation that's basically between, this is a family thing. You should just sit there and look pretty. Here you come. That's what I was going to say. You're not her son. Be quiet. You don't even know. You don't even know what's going on. You don't even really know this guy. Like, did they pay this girl random, random from the street, pay her just to come and sit here and act like she's the best friend of one of the sisters and just come and be, be, be acting as if she's totally into him. Oh, I like his hair. Mm hmm 29. Oh, I like him older. I like that. You guys, there's something very phony about this whole shebang. No, the word of 2020 is lockdown. Lock it down, shut it down, it's done. Also, very soon these people will not be able to do all this and I wonder whether he would be able to be in one house with Chevelle when that happens, because who we? Mm -mm -mm. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bumps, thumb, pass on to that subscribe button, comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video. And hit the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. And in the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living in fact. God bless. Mm. Options. Options is the word of 2020. <laughs>